Hey guys, it's Shin no Gao. Welcome back to nothing. Because this is just a flash game. Ha ha ha. You fell for my trap card. Mm. Anyways, welcome to the video, no I mean, this flash game known as Why Am I Dead? And so, let us begin. Alright. Let me give you the nutshell portion. We have been murdered. And we need to figure out why. So, we have the basic controls of WASD. Huh. This is actually working better than it would be on the Google Chrome because I've been having problems with Google Chrome. But screw it. Eh, is that you? Oh my god, it's moving so fluently! Well, because I'm using Firefox to at least record this, so, and I was having problems with Google Chrome, so. Alright, nutshell to my story. Whatever. Uh, Pita Paws, uh, E to interact with doors and or talk, and you can possess different people. The end! Let's go! Well, didn't find anything. I didn't think so. Not sure what you're trying to do coming in here. Don't you think we should try to find out who did this? No. That's what the cops... I mean, that's what the cops do. And I'm not a cop. We've already called 911. Leave it at that. With the storm going on, nobody will make it here in for weeks. So we wait till they do make it. He's not going anywhere. Why would someone want to kill the owner of the hotel? Beats the hell out of me. The boss had a way of pissing people off. Can't imagine anyone pissed off enough to off him, though. If you're done playing detective, I'm gonna booze up. Wow, what a loser. Hey, loser, come back. Whatever. So, um, hmm. I'm curious about something. I'm gonna be right back. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Well, because he said he's gonna booze up, let's talk to him real quick. Eh. Mmm. So you're the hotel not was. Um. Let's see. I was the hotel manager. Now I'm just a goddamn bum. Okay. Did you notice anything suspicious? Well, I heard the gunshot. It woke me up in the middle of the night. Ran out of my room, and when I heard it, but didn't see anything. Check the uh, um. Check the owner's room. It was just him inside, dead. Wait, then how did the killer get away? You tell me, kid. Hmm. Um, do you know why the owner would uh, would want to kill the... Well, he was a hard guy to like. Pissed plenty of people off. But not enough anyone would want to kill him. Hmm. Sounds like you two had a story. History. We sure did. And that was it. History. Sounds like almost happy he's dead. Yeah, I get it. I know what you're thinking. Well, it wasn't me. That's all I can say. I sure hated the guy's guts, but killing him won't, wouldn't do me any good anyways. Wouldn't let me see my daughter again, that's for sure. So that's that. I don't, you, uh, I don't owe you any explanation. Huh, you don't say. Whoop. Deuces, bitch. Eh. Huh. Let's see what's around, actually. Huh. A wife and a kid. Woo. Let's see what's what she, what she doing. What's she? Hmm. Let's talk. Let's see. How are you holding up, miss? Oh, I'm doing all right. Just trying to take care of Isabel. Isabel? Oh, yes, my daughter Isabel. She's quite a handful. She's a curious girl, but... Times like this, curiosity doesn't pay off. Ah, yeah, that's true. Kids shouldn't, uh, shouldn't have see this stuff. Indeed. Do you want to ask me something? Yeah, oh, I mean, no. I see. Alright, I guess should be going then. It's been a pleasure. Bye. Alright, let's talk to the brat. Wow. <clears throat> wow, you look just like she did. Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. Okay, I have a question, mister. Ask away. What's that saying? Eh. Two sides of a conversation. Hey, mister. Uh, hi there. How are you, uh, how are you, little girl? Are you okay, mister? You look sad. Me? Oh, yeah. I'm okay. Don't worry about me. Just, you look exactly like my daughter did. She must look a lot older by now, I guess. You haven't seen your daughter? No, not for three years. 
Uh, well, three years now. Blah, 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 blah. Details, details, details. Why not? Well, I did some bad things. Things I'm not proud of. And now I'm not allowed to see her. What if you apologize? Won't she forgive you? <laughs> it's... It's not like that. I can't give back... I, I can't get back into the country. I'd be arrested. Maybe she'd forgive me, but I still couldn't see her. And the only guy who can fix it... Who could have fixed it... He just died. You know what? There's somebody I gotta go talk to. He's a naive twerp, but maybe he deserves to know. Okay, mister, you're boring now. Eh. Uh, oh, um, quick explanation, though. Um, I did try to at least record this a few times. It failed a few times, and it was not fun. Eh. Wait. Uh, eh. Let's possess you. I'm curious about something. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, eh. Someone in there? Yeah, sorry, it's gonna be more. Uh, well, good luck. Uh. Huh. Oh, yeah, okay. So there wasn't anything wrong. With okay, anyway, give him back to possessing. Eh. Skip. And talk to you. Alright, so listen, there's some shit I gotta tell you. Huh? I figure I should come clean about the owner and me. I, uh, well, before I got some trouble with some pe bad people. And I ran away from my family to keep them safe. Haven't seen them since. The owner came out of nowhere in my hour of need. Covered my tracks and made me disappear. In order, I, I mean, in return, I'd help him with his, I mean, help him with everything around here. <sighs> Shit wages, and I was constantly running errands, and, well, shady stuff. But he also promised, uh, he also promised, he promised he'd make things right. Clean slate eventually. I'd be able to go back to my family, only turns out it was an empty promise. Cause now he's dead, and I'll, ne I'll never see my daughter again. So there, there you have it. I hated him with all my heart, but I didn't kill him. I, thank you. Thank you for telling me. I'm truly sorry. But, how did he make you disappear? How did he have those kinds of resources? Never asked questions, never cared. Maybe ask the blondie. She was close with the owner. Maybe I will. Well, we're done with him. Eh. Whee! We'll talk to you later, dude. Person. Hmm. Eh. There we go. Hi, my name's Cricket. Who are you? My name's Morgan. What can I do for you, Cricket? Uh, would you be able to answer some questions for me? Oh, well, that definitely depends on the type of questions you're asking. It's regarding the hotel's, I mean, hotel owner's death. Ah, that's disappointing. Alright, ask away. Okay. Eh. Hmm, sorry. Thought I heard something. Anyways, aside from the sound of the gunshot, no. I laid awake uh, afterwards and comforted my daughter, Isabel. So, I didn't have a chance to investigate anything at the time. But, to my memory, I cannot, uh, I cannot remember hearing or seeing anything else. Uh, okay. Hmm. Well, whatever. Uh, here we go. Oh, was that the dead guy? Nah, mister, I didn't know him. Mommy spent a lot of time with him, but I never saw him. Okay. Hey, what's your name? My name's Isabel. What's yours? I'm Cricket. I take it Morgan's your mother? Yep. Okay, that was decently short. Uh, I didn't see anything. Mm, well, Sarah's pretty quiet yesterday. That was kind of weird. Who's Sarah? Oh, Sarah's my friend. She's my, uh, She's by my bed now. Normally, she talks all the time. I can't get her to be quiet. But... Yesterday, she didn't say anything. Nothing. Uh, did Sarah say anything today? Well, she did. Actually, well, Sarah scared me today. She said something that, uh, said that somebody else would die tonight. 
Er, well, good thing that's not creepy at all. Nope, not creepy. Well, that was... Nice to know. Huh. Hey, it's an old lady. Hi, old lady. How you doing? Um... Let's ask her... Who are you? Who am I? It's none of your damn business. That's who I am. Holy shit, you're rude. Not well, but I bet he deserves what he got. What? Don't look at me like that. I saw how he was with the ladies. And I'm pretty... I mean... And any pretty thing he saw, he just had to have. That's not how a married man should act. At least, I think he was married. You're a bitch. Uh, did you notice anything suspicious last night? Plain detective, are we? I'll let you in on a secret here, sweetie. Everything in this hotel's suspicious. You should have asked me if I saw anything normal. Well, you're completely useless, but let's use you for something. I'm curious. Eh. I'm old. And I'm old. And... Hey, let's actually talk to this lady. Hmm. I can, I can hardly just look at you. I beg your pardon? Oh, quit the act, honey. You know what I'm talking about. No, I'm afraid I don't. Was it, was it his money? A new car? Maybe some job connections? Why, you... I, you vile old woman. If you're implying that I dated the owner, I, uh, owner simply to use him. Yeah, that's what I'm implying. Didn't you pick it up? I mean, pick up on that yet? That would make you assume such things. I mean, what makes you assume such things? Oh, honey, your eyes are breathing with guilt. It's written all over you. I, I, well, I... <sighs> yes... It didn't start that way, but I began to notice some things. I suppose I should tell the whole truth. Tell to someone else. I don't want to hear your confess. You are truly an evil woman. Do you know? Uh, did you know? Whatever. 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 Old lady useless now. Screw you. Eh. Alright, let's go with Detective Critty. Cricky. Detective! Yeah. Okay, let's get the facts now. Alright. Did you know the hotel owner? Uh, as a matter of fact, I did. I, I did know him for some time immediate. immediately. It was casual, though we were not close. Wait, you were in a relationship with the owner? Well, yes, I thought I had said, uh, said it plenty enough. But again, we're not close. I'm afraid I don't have any information that maybe helps you. Hmm. I find it hard to believe. You must have noticed something. Well, a matter of fact, I did pick up on some things. Actually, to be honest, something rather... large. I suppose now isn't the time for a lie for the sake of vanity. Ask me about anything of the owner. I'll probably have the answers. Um, What did you notice? Y yes when I was with him, I may have accidentally seen some of his record papers. It was staggering, the amount of money going in and out of his hands. It was that I realized that this hotel was simply a front for the owner. There was no way he would uh, he could have earned that kind of money th through this place. I stayed with him hoping to find out more, and perhaps I would have. But as of now, that was all I could find out. I don't know who killed the owner, but I'm sure uh, it, t it was tied up in this. He must have been involved in something illegal. I'm sure of it. Wow, well, that changes things. Thank you for your honesty. Huh. Alright, so we don't need your information anymore. Uh, let's... Hmm. Let's get Ted. Alright. Did... Did you know the owner? How about who are you? My name's Ted. What's yours? Cricket. Nice to meet you, Cricket. Okay, that was pretty short. Um, well, sorta, of, sorta, of, blah, blah, blah. Oh. I may know the whereabouts of some of the people here last night, but, well, it's not stuff that I could tell to you, I mean, to just anybody, you know? 
So you're going to hide information for us, even though we're actually investigating for the police officers ahead of time, so that we'd be able to solve the case quickly for them. Find all the evidence and make sure that everything's golden. Nothing against you, I just don't know anything about you. Um, uh, uh, let's, let's just, you know, ask. I mean, I'm sure you're trying to do the right thing. Just given the circumstances and all, I need, uh, I needed to really trust you. So, here's what you'd have to do. Give me your alibi. Well, actually, at the time I heard the gunshot I was using in the bathroom, the one at the center of the hall. Can anyone back that up? If not, it's not really an alibi. Actually, there was somebody there. He could vouch for me. Any ideas where I'd find him? I don't know. I guess I'll try the bathroom. Okay, I'll need, uh, I need to go check out your alibi before we can get any further. Uh, go ahead. Eh. Oh, Ted away! Actually, I like this character for some reason. He's so positive in such a weird way. Hey, someone in there? Yeah, sorry. I'm gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a while. <laughs> no worries. So, uh, how long have you been in there? Okay, maybe that was the wrong kind of question. That came out pretty weird. Yeah, it did. Ugh. I asked because there's a guy who says he was here during the murder and that you can back up his story. Oh, that uh, guy with the red hair? Yeah, he was here. I was having a bit of a nighttime emergency. He was he was used in the bathroom at the time. Not sure what he was doing. Ice cream. Ice cream! Sorry, I just heard it through my headphones. Ice cream man's here. I will run and chase him. Not really. Anyways, not sure what he's doing, but he was taking a long time and refusing to get out. Sort of like you right... <clears throat> sort of like you right now? Maybe he ate some, the same crap. When we were in the middle of switching shifts, as if it were, there was a gunshot. I wasn't at any position to go check it out at the time. Don't know what the redhead did. I see. Well, thanks for the info. Right, bye. Okay, so we're good. Alright. Okay, your alibi look. I mean... <clears throat> okay, looks like your alibi checks out. Good. Now... That I'm spoken for, can you tell me what you know? Sure, ask me whatever you need to know. Alright. Eh. Eh. Oh my god, ice cream man! Fuck off. Seriously, I'm recording here. So, what's your alibi? Fair enough. You delivered, I mean, you delivered, so I guess it's my turn. Odd as it is, I was in Oval's room at the time. He could confirm it if needed. He's a total weirdo, maybe a bit unhinged actually, so normally I'd stay away. But he's, I mean, he also has useful way of being everywhere and around everyone creepily. Some of the people here seem off to me, so I was talking to many, I mean, talking about uh, it. So I was asking him anything he knew. Actually, some of the knowledge about the other people's alibis is coming from him. So that's where I was. Huh. Alright, thanks, Dad. Um, what about the others here? Right, right. My knowledge is a bit incomplete. And some of it I just can't prove, so you have to take my word. I was just with Overall at the time, so he's clear. The old lady Rose was up going through the old memos and albums in her room, and Isabel's sleeping at the time. You and the guy in the bathroom, well, we were covered in the blah blah blah. I don't know about Randy. His room isn't the um, his room isn't in the main hallway, so he could have been doing anything. Never saw Lucy uh, Lee last night. She may have been uh, in her room the whole time, or she may have been out for the whole time. Also, not sure about Morgan. At some point last night, she left her room, but I don't know where she went. That's about it, I think. So I guess the gaps are. Uh, the gaps are Randy, Morgan, and Lucy. 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 Whatever. A lot of that was awfully specific. How do you know all this? <laughs> well, I like to be aware of my surroundings, and that involves being aware of people around me. 
Also, I had to ask the, I, uh, the guy overall anything he knew. Huh. Fair enough. Okay, that's interesting. Huh. Okay. Um... Let's go through this door. Hello. There are three people in the hotel without solid alibis. You, Randy, and Morgan. I... I see, but it wasn't me. It must have been one of them. No, Randy was being blackmailed by the owner. If he died, Randy wouldn't get to see his daughter. So, he had no motive. And Morgan? She was trying to snoop on the owner's funds, but I can't tell if she definitely hadn't discovered um, definitely hadn't discovered what she was looking for yet. Killing him halfway through that search wouldn't have been part of her plan. So she didn't have a motive either. Mm. So that leaves one person as the killer, and that's you. Haninwa Anata The culprit was you. Yeah, so sorry, that that's the reference to the Detective Conan, a.k.a. Clay, case closed. Leave me alone, I'm a nerd. Eee! Okay, I'm done. Anyways. So, awkward silence, awkward silence. <clears throat> we need to talk in complete privacy. Meet me in the owner's room, the scene of the crime. Uh, what? Did we just solve the case? What the fuck? Okay. Okay. We didn't even talk to this guy. Hey, how you doing, buddy? So, oh, Ted said he was with you in your room last night. Is that true? Hmm. <laughs> Ted, 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 Ted. Hmm. Black hair, colorful shirt, about my height. Oh yeah, Ted. Of course. What a great guy that Ted. Yeah, he was talking about last night about stuff. Okay, you're dumb. I, I don't need to talk to you anymore. Okay, thanks. Bye. Weirdo. So I guess this. So I guess we're gonna learn the truth now. Let's 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 do that. Hello. Hello. Can I actually possess her? Oh no, we can't. Okay. I was just making sure. If I could have, could. Um. I guess we figured it out. Shit. Okay. I need answers. Then you're in luck. Tell me what you you do know about this hotel. I don't know. It sounds like the owner may have been involved with crime. Morgan thought the hotel was a front. That's a dramatic understatement. To be sure, the owner uh, was involved in crime, but the hotel was not a front. The hotel was a stage of the crime. What do you mean? It suffice to say that the remote location of this hotel was, uh, was by design, not accident. Away from society, away from the law. No mistakes, but this hotel, uh, this hotel deserves to be shut down and burned. And was it? I mean, that was why you killed him? No, not exactly. The gun you see on the front uh, on the floor is not the murder weapon. The real murder weapon was there. I mean, uh, yeah. Give me a sec. <coughs> the real murder weapon as it were, is safely hidden away. Instead of the gun you see here, uh, I mean, you see, was the owner was planning to kill me with it. I mean, wait, 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 what? Instead of the gun you see was the one of the owner was planning to kill me with. Uh, let's see. I had been careless, and he discovered uh, me in my search for evidence. You can probably guess where things went from there. You, you have a gun? And a badge, and a license to kill. To get along with. You're a cop? You went, uh, you were sent here to investigate the hotel? Yes and no. It was not my intention to investigate the owner. I was sent here to the, tr I mean, to trail a known serial killer. One that I reasonably, uh, reasonably, uh, confident is, in fact, here. However, when, uh, eh. <coughs> sorry, eh. getting so close to the ending portion. However, when I grew suspicious of the owner, I had an obligation to uncover everything. I see. I'm not sure how to react. Act as if nothing has changed. If my cover is blown, all of my work could have been reversed. <laughs> I think it's too late for that. 
What are you doing? Do you think I was investigating the murder out of the goodness of my heart? I... How dumb. I was just trying to find the person who killed my business partner. It was you. You were the one who was planning to meet with. Goodbye. Oh. Huh. Okay, well, because, um... There's a few ways for this story to end. That was one way, and then there was another way where if you actually possessed uh, Lucy, uh, whatever her name is, um, she would actually have had a gun ready, pulled the trigger, shot it out of his hands, and then she would be able to, uh, you know, take care of it all together. I will be able to arrest the guy. And then that you, that would be the good ending. I basically got the bad ending, where it leads up to continuation in the storyline, so... Me. But that's how the story ends for that. Well, you guys can at least go back because this game is for free and it is also on Newgrounds.com or pretty much anywhere else that actually took the game and uh, moved it everywhere and anywhere. So, go ahead and try it. It is on the web. It's for free. And yeah. So, that's how to do it for this episode of Why Am I Dead? In the next episode of something, there will be something. So, anyways, thank you guys very much for at least watching this episode. If you like these or other videos, consider liking, commenting, and even better, consider subscribing. If not, thank you in advance for at least watching it all together. So, until then, this has been Shin Nogawa. I will see you guys. <coughs> My voice is cracking already. Oh boy. In the next video. Till then, Jane, see ya. Hey guys, it's Shin Nogawa. Thank you guys very much for at least watching these videos. If you like these or other videos, consider liking, commenting, and even better, consider subscribing if you enjoyed my commentary enough. If not, thank you in advance for at least watching it all together. Heck, there's plenty more videos that you can watch in the playlist. Or even better, you can watch the two previous videos that I at least uploaded some time ago. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Alright, until then, this has been Shin no Kawa. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, Jane, see ya!